Chris. And I'm Clay. And today we're going on an adventure. So Clay's mom and aunt are in town and they wanted to go see some things in the financial district and they really wanted to go down and see... The reflection pools that are at the 9-11 memorial. And your mom said she'd been there one time mm -hmm. but your aunt had never gone. So we wanted to take this time that they're in the city, take a little day trip, go downtown and show them the beautiful memorial and have a little adventure downtown. Yeah. But before you do anything else, go to our Instagram stories this very second if you're watching this on Tuesday, March 9th. Because for 24 hours only, we're letting Instagram decide everything we do. So as you're watching this right now, people are voting on our Instagram stories, telling us what to do the full yeah. day. So make sure you tune in right now and capturing all that in a vlog, of course. So that'll be on the way soon. Clay and his mom and aunt had never seen the Oculus downtown. Yeah, it was so beautiful. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Uh, I'm not even sure what you call it. Like an architectural structure. Yeah, it's a structure. It's a big building with some beautiful shops and uh, some restaurants, coffee shops, things like that. As well as the subway stop for like the PATH train mm -hmm. and a lot of trains that stop down in that area. Yeah. It's stunning. It really is. I don't know what that one is supposed to represent, like what the artist had in mind, oh, yeah. but it's like claws. Like, <laughs> or like two combs that you like put their teeth yeah. all together. It's really cool. It's really big. It goes Huge. up and over. What do you think, Colleen? It's beautiful. It is beautiful, right? Aunt Kelly snapping a picture. Gorgeous. Clay, tell us where we are. Tell them where we are. We I are know where we're at. at. We're at the Oculus Shopping Center, and it's gorgeous. I've yeah. never been here. I've seen pictures of it on Instagram, but. You can see the Freedom Tower through the ceiling of this. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Well, this is our like third or fourth escalator. There's a lot of them here. <laughs> but we're getting down to the floor level now. And yes, my mask is from up. Looks a little sideways though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous and it's all white and it's pristine. Now, if you visited New York or maybe you live in Manhattan as well or one of the surrounding boroughs, you know that New York's not the cleanest and the streets are kind of gross sometimes and the subway stops are always nasty. This one being so new, they've done a great job. They have great security there to keep people behaving themselves and not vandalizing anything as well as a great custodial staff that keeps it like pristine and gorgeous. What do you think, Clay? So beautiful. It's white and it's stunning and you've got to go check it out next time you're in New York. Just a little tip for when you visit, the bathrooms don't open until 11 a.m. Oh so, yeah, I don't know if that's just right now. They have but... operational hours, I don't know. Good to know though. So there are two reflection pools, one representing the North Tower and one representing the South Tower, and they're the same footprint of the original towers. The two beautiful reflection pools um, are almost an acre in size mm -hmm. each, which is rather large, and all the water that trickles down from the sides drops 30 feet, and then meets in the middle and drops another 20 feet, and no one standing around the pool can see what's at the bottom. It kind of just disappears. And I read something that said, although the water flows into the voids, they can never be filled, which is like, so powerful. Both of their reflection pools were designed by the architect Michael Arad. Yeah, and he said that he wanted the pools to represent absence made visible. Oh, that's heartbreaking. And it's no. like the one division line. What is grief if not love persevering? It's just like heartbreaking to read in here. But I mean, it's so beautiful. You see like the, the imprint that these buildings like left on this community. Mm -hmm. 2,983 people lost their lives on 9-11 and all of their names are transcribed on the sides of the reflection pools. Mm -hmm. The 9-11 Memorial actually does this really sweet thing. They go around and put white roses on each person's name when it's their birthday. Mm -hmm. We saw quite a few roses. Yeah. It really I don't know, hit my heart really hard. And all of the names around the pools are of the first responders mm -hmm. and the people that were working in the towers and the people that were on the flights that lost their lives. 2,983? Yeah. Just to think about how all those people that have their names on there, they were all real people with hopes and dreams and families and goals and things they had yet to accomplish that they wanted to in their lives, and mm -hmm. as well as so many people that loved them that they left behind. It's just yeah. really sad. And also when the water's pouring in, it really washes out the sound of the rest of the city. New York's right. always filled with hustle and bustle and horns and ambulances and screaming mm -hmm. and dogs barking and kids screaming, whatever. 
And when you're standing next to those pools, it's like, it's like white noise, it just washes out everything else. And it really, it really creates this amazing environment where you can just kind of zone out and focus on. Uh, it's so tranquil. Yeah, it's very tranquil, focusing on remembering. It's really beautiful. And even though it happened when we were both really little kids, like 9-11 left an impact on this country and especially the state of New York. Mm -hmm. It's just so crazy to think about that turmoil and distress that happened here in, you know, in, our, in our city and on this island. But they've done a really beautiful job of setting this up so people can go and pay tribute and uh, you know remember those we lost as well as look to the future as well. Absolutely. As well as look to the future as well. They have a museum that you can go to. Mm -hmm. It was closed to the day that we went, but we saw the memorial. And when we went, it was empty. There was like no yeah. one there. So it's definitely a safe time to go if you want to stay social distant. It's definitely a good time to do that. <laughs> we also walked around Italy down there. I had never been. I, I thought Italy was just a restaurant. I don't know what I thought it was. I don't think I'd ever thought about what Italy was. Yeah, but it's just a giant store and they had like little kiosks to try food and stuff. As you said, they had a lot of different areas, but they were all different colors and patterns of like things on the floor and on the walls, but it all like meshed together. It was really cute. I wanted to go get some breadsticks afterwards and get some Italian food. We didn't buy anything. How did that happen? I know. Hi friends. I am waiting in the car right now because my mom and her sister and Chris all are doing a little sightseeing while we're downtown. So we just saw the World Trade Center and the Oculus, and there's a bus. And now you can kind of see maybe, oh yeah, the Charging Bull statue. And you can see his butt out the window. Mm. The right. Charging Bull. Um, and now they are all looking at the Fearless Girl statue. So they're being tourists around the downtown area right now, and I'm waiting with the car, um, and they'll be back soon. Yay! Awesome. You like the World Trade awesome. Center? Yeah, absolutely yeah. awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, really peaceful, huh? Yeah. We do have to that. We went to Italy. Yes. We went to oh, that was awesome. Shopping. Yeah. Didn't buy anything. We yeah. got really hungry, though. Got really hungry. Kind of home. Uber driver Clay, five star rating so far. Tip me well. Even though we live in New York City and we can see Times Square every day or the Chrysler Building every day, mm -hmm. it's kind of fun to play tourist a little bit. Yeah, go see these amazing uh, things that are around in our city that we kind of don't visit often. Right, they're always there. We very rarely ever go down that far. It kind of inspired me to see more of our city. Last night. We also made my mom and my aunt do the bean boozle <laughs> challenge. So we had like a little extra pack of some jelly beans and we made them try almost all of them. They didn't have any of the like roasted marshmallow or stink bug ones, I don't oh, think. Those were so nasty. And that was the worst one for you. Oh, if you haven't seen our bean boozle challenge and you have no idea what we're talking about, it's okay. We'll do a little pop up and uh, watch our bean boozle challenge and see who had the nasty jelly beans and who had the yummy jelly beans because they look the same. and. Some of the reactions are pretty gross. And here are some reactions from Clay's mom, Colleen, and Clay's aunt, Kelly. If you make your mom have a better one than me. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what they are. All right. And I hope it's a yummy, fruity flavor. You'll know, like, try to right away. Are they both fine? It's not horrible. Okay, okay. Another one. Oh, the thing is, once they do a bad one, they're not, you're not going to want to do another one. You're right. Is yours fine, Colleen? I'm fine. <laughs> oh God, what is that? <laughs> that was either, I'm guessing, buttered popcorn or rotten egg. Oh. <laughs> again, again, again. Bottoms up. What, what is it? You just try it. What is it, Clay? Oh. <laughs> Colleen, is yours fine? <laughs> that was either chocolate pudding or canned dog food. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I can smell it. I can oh, smell gosh. It. Okay. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> You've only had one battle and you're fine. Okay, bottoms up. Oh. oh. Or bottoms bottoms down. Oh. <laughs> and Colleen's is fine. Mine's fine. All right, this is enough. Isn't this how this works with this? Yes, okay. Maybe it's a Thompson thing. It is mm -hmm. a Thompson thing. Mine's fine too. Not, this one's fine. Tutti frutti? Mm -hmm. I got the ah. tutti frutti. Could have been tutti frutti or stinky socks. Oh, Stinky Socks is a rough one. You did it. <laughs> Yay. I loved having my mom and my aunt here. They're so fun. I love them. Yeah. It was fun exploring the city with them, too. It was fun exploring the city with you. It sure was. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. We just wanted to share a little bit of the adventures we had when your family was in town. Yeah. And we want to wish you all a happy week. Yeah. I don't know why I said a happy uh, week. Happy week. Happy week. <laughs> wish you all a happy week. What's happening? I don't know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell because we have new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Go make this world a better place and we'll see you real soon. Bye, Bye everyone.